think you're one of those millions of fans pawning over the Spice Girls. Pawning? 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 Ah. Who would be your favourite and why? Ooh. Well, I don't know. Different bits would be my, my favourites. I suppose I would like... Um, Victoria's legs. Okay. I'd like... Um, Mel C's physicality. I'd probably want to marry... Um, Emma and shag Mel B. There you go. Because Mel B is good. She reckons. Because she's the top. She reckons. She reckons. Are you allowed to say shag on MTV? Shag, 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 shag. It's only a dance. Don't say that's rude. Shag. Is it my turn? Reckons ruder. It's not good for my image. Oh no, this is dead long. Can we do another round? I like it. <laughs> Imagine the spice boat, not spice boat, had hit ground. The five of us were stranded on a desert island, no food, no water, or shelter. Which fellow spice would you eat for food? <laughs> <laughs> My bum's quite neat, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> <your bum's laughs> clean. I think I couldn't eat any of the others. Oh, Skin, if you had to, no, come on, stop. No, if you had to, like, out of those four, That's eat a good for question. food, who would you eat for food? Who would I eat? Skin for shower and warmth. Send for the native and rescue. I'll just eat for food. Who, oh, oh, I can't answer any Go on, Mel, do it. I've got my, skin on your We'd all skin a bit. We can all chop a bit off and we wouldn't notice. Yeah, now I'll tell you what I'd do. I'll do Mel. your breast. i tell you what I'd do. Yeah, I'd do. I like a bit of breast. So, chicken breast, that is. <laughs> so, um, I've heard that human flesh tastes a bit like chicken, so I'd eat Jerry's breast. Okay. Ooh, okay. I don't miss it. I'd rather starve. Because um, <laughs> they'd last me for a few weeks. Melanie's hair for warmth. Yeah, I'd use Melanie's ha big hair for shelter and warmth. Right, <laughs> not that big, actually. Send for the natives, oh. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> She'd never yeah. come back, would she? Um, I think you'd rescue me now. I'd, I'd, I'd rescue all of you. We've done a lot of travelling around to some fantastic countries, experienced lots of different cultures. And some so, rubbish ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is really funny, right? Sorry, just quick change the subject. Right, I was telling everyone where I'd been, right? And my nan was stood there and she nearly wet her pants, right? Because I went, I've been to Singapore. And she went, You've met the Pope! What does that mean? <laughs> what? Oh, that's what nans do, isn't it? She's a, you know, she didn't hear me properly. She thought I said I'd met the Pope, and she's really strong Catholic. She nearly wet her knickers, and I went, no, no, I've been to Singapore. I made me laugh. We haven't met the Pope, but not we haven't. Pope. But John Paul, if you're watching, you invite us in a half a tea, <laughs> yeah. Vatican City, like a bit of yeah. Italy, don't we? We haven't yeah, been there yet. Italy. That's one place we haven't been. It'd be quite nice. <laughs>